Hey everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation, and in this video we're going to go over a little bit more of the advanced topics uh, or advanced programming here in the Hydros. As you can see, this is the web-based app, but you can of course use a phone or a tablet to do accomplish the same thing. Now, in this particular example, we're going to use phantom slash virtual slash fake outputs. Now what these are, are they are outputs that are not assigned to anything uh, physical. And what that means is they're not assigned to a out output or outlet on the power bar. They're not assigned to any of the 0 to 10 volt outputs. They're not assigned to anything. They're essentially fake. And they are used to combine certain actions. So in this particular example, we're going to combine two different schedules. Let's say you had a schedule for one thing and you had a schedule for another thing, but you wanted them to come on at, at different times uh, throughout the day and a different amount of time. This would be a perfect example of how you'd use a combiner. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're wanna, going to go to outputs. And you're going to want to click on the three little dots to the right and you're going to say add or edit output. You can see I've already done a, a few of my own here and I'm going to hit plus. Now we're going to call this schedule one and let's say for this particular example we want our schedule one for a light let's say we want to come on at nine o'clock in the morning and we want it to turn off at eleven o'clock in the morning but then we want it to come back on at another time that day so this is where a combiner would really be handy so in this case we're going to call this let's say an LED light okay now remember the LED light that we're making is actually not involved with an output device so in this case you're not going to hook up anything to this it's going to be strictly used for the combiner so for example we're going to do LED light it's going to be controlled by um, the start time and end time remember what I said we're going to do uh, 9 a.m. turn on and we're going to do an 11 a.m. turn off now what this means is this particular outlet or LED light or under schedule one is going to turn on at nine o'clock and turn off at 11. Now you can of course set it up to over uh, set up for overheating based on temperatures. You can also set it up um, to if something else is turned on to turn off. But in this case, we're not going to get into that. We're just going to do a basic combiner to start with. So we're going to set that up. We don't have to upload any changes yet because we're going to do a number of things at once. So we're going to go back. It's going to be there until you upload everything. And we're going to call this Schedule 1. Now let's say we wanted to add something to this um, device. We're going to call it Schedule 2. And again, it is a virtual or a fake outlet, but it is indeed an LED light. So in this case, we wanted this to come on not at 9 between 11, but we want to come on, let's say, at... I don't know, let's do three o'clock. Want to come on at three o'clock? Want to turn off, we'll just keep it there at uh, eight o'clock. So we'll let this uh, turn on again and off at eight o'clock. Now remember, we can, of course, set these up uh, to come on dependent on other things, but in this case, we're not gonna do that. So in this case, we have two schedules. We have one schedule that comes on at your eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning and off at 11 o'clock in the morning and then we want it to come back on at 3 o'clock and then off at 8 o'clock so it's going to have a little bit of a, a delay in the between there now this is how you actually program the outlet itself so you come over here we're going to say this is our actual light so we'll just call this actual light output and we're going to actually make this into a combiner that's what this is here now the combiner statement allows you to add as many different inputs or outputs or whatever selections you want to use to combine the information together. So for input one, if you recall, we did schedule one, right? And for schedule two is our secondary thing. So these are going to combine both of the schedules. Now the combiner mode is essentially to check this and this together at the same time in order for it to function. We don't want these to work at the same time. We, in this particular case, we have them separated. So we're going to actually make these separate, Schedule 1 and Schedule 2, as an OR statement. Now what this means is if this is on or this is on, if Schedule 1 or Schedule 2 are, are on, we're going to turn on this combiner. 
Now, we don't have to set the rest of this stuff up because, again, we've already set it up inside the scheduler. So it's going to use the information from this these particular generic outputs. So now we have a combiner right here. And that combiner is called actual light. Now, since the actual light is an actual light output, we have to assign it. So in this case, we're going to make it reptile room power three, which is what I have it called. Um, but this is my third output of my power bar. So it's going to turn on if schedule one is enabled and schedule two is enabled. And in this case, schedule one, if you recall, is between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Schedule two is between 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. and 10 or 8 p.m., which means it's going to turn these schedules on during those periods of time. When you're done, you're going to hit upload changes. Now, if we go back to our dashboard, those are going to now be all on our dashboard. So we come up here to status. And you'll see Schedule 2, Schedule 1, and the actual light. Now, for demonstration purposes, we're going to turn on Schedule 2. When I turn on Schedule 2, you'll notice the actual output turns on. Now, if I turn off Schedule 2, it'll turn off. Now, if I come over here and I turn on Schedule 1, Schedule actual light will turn on. So what you want to make sure is that all of these are on auto when you're actually using them, because then it's going to use the logic that we assigned for the combiner statement. And that's, again, a quick and easy way to do combiners and the advanced statement of the combiners. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to do some more Hydro uh, programming videos here in the future. So Hopefully to start, this uh, helps you out get started with more advanced settings in the CorelView Hydros. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.